Tennis star Naomi, or Naomi rather, Asaka, had a tough time at a recent press conference. It's her first one, by the way, since revealing her mental health struggles and withdrawing from the French Open three months ago. So here's how it all started. It started with a reporter asking her a question about her interactions with the press. Take a look. You're not crazy about dealing with, with, with us, yet you have a lot of outside interests that are, that are served by having a media platform. What does that refer to? I think we can move on to the next question, Naomi. Do you want to move on to the next question? Um, no, I'm actually very interested in that like point of view. I'm not really sure how to balance it to. Like, I'm figuring it out at the same time as you are. So moments later, Naomi actually broke down in tears and she did have to step away from the mic. So here's the thing. Do you think that Naomi Osaka should get special treatment by the press, if that's what you even want to call it? Or is this the price she pays for being a public figure? That's, in fact, exactly what some of you are saying. What do you think of this, Tori? I'm going to take a kind of unpopular opinion here. At some point, you can be a tennis star, but when you want to be a tennis star in the public, there's a price to pay for that. I'm not saying we need to go super far and fight her, but if you want to be in the public, that comes with perks, that comes with a lot of, of things that she gets because of that, and because of that, you have to give some of yourself for these tournaments that need money, that need eyeballs, that need advertising. It's all a show, right? It's all a show. So I get she doesn't want to be seen as property, but I also get a reporter being like, this is sort of part of it. And it's a little tricky as to where you stop and start for people. And if, do you go more gently for her? I would, but I also think a reporter's job is somehow to also get the answer. I, I could go either way on this, but I'm going to take Naomi's side in, the, in this instance, right? Just because I don't like the way the press is handling things in this day and age. The same thing with Jason Momoa. He got asked that icky question, and he pushed back. He goes, the next question came, he goes, you know, I feel icky about this, referencing his character in Game of Thrones, which has nothing to do with him. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, Naomi kind of pushed back a little bit. Like, they could have moved on. Her press person was like, listen, let's just roll through this. She's like, no, 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 I want to address this. Pe these reporters nowadays smell blood in the water. Mm. And that's what they go for. Not your accomplishments. Not that you're giving all your money to Haiti because they just got devastated, right? And you're giving all your winnings to that. Don't talk about that, right? Ask about your insecurities and in, in, in the smell the blood in the water to make someone break down and cry because that's what sells. That's what we're talking about. If it bleeds, it leads. To yeah. Jeff's, that's a really powerful statement. To Jeff's point, uh, Naomi's agent just posted this. The bully at the Cincinnati Inquirer, that was the reporter, is the epitome of why player media relations are so fraught right now. Everyone on that Zoom will agree that his tone was all wrong and his sole purpose was to intimidate. That's Final thought. Job. You don't think so, Tori? No, I don't. I'm, I disagree, but I get your point. But I think that's part of their job, too. Well, I mean, it's part of the business model that their job has become. I will, I will give you that. But I will say this. It seems like we've learned nothing in terms of athletes and their mental health and just people in general. Everybody had a big meal couple about Britney. When people look back at those old interviews, people look back at people that were going through things. We watched a documentary last night around our test. Now, Meta World Peace, very open about his mental health issues, which caused one of the biggest fights ever. We have seen, we, we watched it with the Olympics when, you know, Simone Biles said, I'm not mentally ready to go. We saw clips from 10 years before where somebody said that they went up there and they cracked their head on the Dominique. balance beam. Yeah. Yes, and we still are st still having this conversation. So I'm really scared, Sam, that we're not learning that mental health is a big deal. It's not something we can push through. I, it's something that needs to be addressed. I agree, and I think we are slowly making progress. I really do to have some sort we're of. We're talking about it. Yeah, yeah. silver lining.